This is Rodney Mullen. He's the godfather of street skateboarding, having invented virtually every trick known to today's skater. He was recently voted the greatest action sports athlete ever by Extreme's viewers. Rodney is here in Melbourne, Australia to support the Globe World Cup skateboarding event, the biggest in the skate calendar. And this is Daniel Turner, a shelf-stacking skate kid from Northamptonshire, England. He's been skating for four years in and around his village, but remains unknown and unsponsored. He's never been abroad, and he's never met a pro skater. Rodney Mullen is his idol. Now Dan's preparing for the trip of a lifetime, as we send him down under to check out the Globe World Cup and meet his hero. So will he be swimming with a big fish or be thrown to the sharks when Dan is hanging with Rodney Mullen? Dan is 18. He funds his skating and drinking sessions by working part-time in his local supermarket. Jenna today. <laughs> Quick save, I love this one. Fuckers. Earthenware is just like one of them random little towns. Like, live there all my life, there's nothing really there. Just nobody's going nowhere, really. It's just a very, very small country village, I guess. Wet and cold and nothing to skate at all. Earthling Borough's only ramp was recently trashed by vandals. Yeah, so this is it. How fun does this look? No, I reckon in Australia it's going to be like a bit bad, to be honest. Dan's only option now is Radland Skate Park, 20 miles away, where he's often tipped as the one to watch. It's just what he's good at. It's what he was born to do, I guess. So, Mark, when are you going to go grip me up this board, Dan? Geezer, come on. Or do you want me to do it? He's a cheeky self, comes in all the time asking for new boards. <laughs> in return for helping him out with the odd free board, Dan's decided to take skate shop owner Mark with him to Oz. Mark's going to be skating as well in Australia, ain't he, Mark? No. He's going to be teaching Rodney Mullen what an ollie is all about. He had um, a video. First of all, when I saw it, I thought he was going to kill himself. It's me! I'm on TV! I'm famous! Yeah! He does all these things that you see, you know, on the television, and he was just doing them. Whew. Dan's like one of the nicest people you can meet. He's easy to get along with. He's funny. He's a natural skateboarder. But just don't get him drunk, as all I can say. He's got the gift of the gab. This guy can talk to women. He's usually drunk, which is better, because obviously he's got more courage. And he'll just go up to him and he'll go, oh, love. <laughs> and it'll just work for him. Even if they're 37-year-old women, you know, he'll still chat them up. And then he'll end up down the chip shop, his local chip shop. <laughs> annoying the hell out of everyone. <laughs> it's not just the fish that take a battering in this chippy. What happened there? My head hurts. Oh, please just put it down. Okay, no, I can't believe. Oh. <laughs> That's the kind of thing Dan does when he's drunk. No, no, show him the blood, man. You got blood coming out the top of your mouth. <laughs> uh, to be honest, it's just a taster, really. When I get when I get to Australia, it's gonna all kick off, man. They're gonna take me off, and I'm like, Yo, Rodney, how are you? And like, he's gonna like skate me for a few hours. Next thing you know, you're like turning out, watching a bit of the World Cup. Come on, later on, go to a party and just enjoy it, man. That's what it's all about. That's what I'm going there. I'm just going to enjoy what I'm doing while I'm there. So I'll speak to you soon, camera. Bye bye. <laughs> Love it. Just find the on off button. Rodney Merlin. Who's he? After a 24 hour flight, Dan and Mark arrived knackered in Oz and received their first taste of VIP treatment. <laughs> but before the boys are unleashed on Melbourne, first they need some new threads. Rodney's hooked them up with some gear from his sponsor, Globe. So this is our little uh, skateboard museum. That's pretty cool. That's pretty good. <laughs> Come on in here, I'll get you some product. Some jeans. Five jeans, shorts. A couple pair of shorts for two of you. Get that on to you. Here you 
Fucking Rizzo. Time to check out the scene and go skate. <laughs> Come on. His first encounter of the pro kind is with Chet Thomas, Paul McNow, and Galea Momolu. Yeah. Dan doesn't seem to be feeling it. Maybe it's the jet lag. Chet shows Dan some old school freestyle moves which would make Rodney Mullen proud. This is like what I grew up doing. I would try and do it, but I'd probably nut the floor. <laughs> Now, man, today has been crazy. Looking forward to like tomorrow, social meeting up with Rodney Mullen, so that's gonna be <laughs> insane, man. And then the rest of the week, man, I think it's all gonna be like a bit outrageous. Pretty full schedule. The big day's here. Time to meet the man himself. Basically, chilling down here, wait for Rodney Mullen to come along so we can go for a little private sesh with him, I think. Should be cool. Looking forward to it. Rodney's nickname is The King. He turned pro before Dan was even born. His tricks are so technical, you need to study science to work them out. And that's just what Rodney did. Yeah, Yo, man, you are, dude. Welcome to sunny Australia. Yeah, it's crazy, <laughs> isn't it? Awesome. Yeah. Rodney's skateboarding, he, it's not about style, it's, he's a technician. Hey, it's super nice to meet cool you, Rodney. Sweet ass, man. He's on another level beyond any other skater. Like, that's why he's invented so many tricks. He's just that far, far advanced, it's amazing. Why people are doing kick flips and all that stuff now is all because of him, you know? Like the stuff he did back in the day, like just like 360 flips, all that stuff. It's all from him. Hey, you seen many pros? Dan's before? nickname is yeah, Weller. Lot, he's only been skating for four years, and most of the tricks he tries were invented by Rodney. Yeah, cool. Dan believes skating is more art than yeah, science, yeah. so how will he shape up when the apprentice meets his master? <laughs> What kind of tricks do you like to do? What are the ones? That's Scoop weird. I can just sit here and watch, man. Like, oh. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> oh. Okay, no. Can you do these? These are fun. Got that. Oh, all that stuff? <laughs> no, I never really got all that into it. Oh, I can't. My legs are all Valley is the king of that stuff. So right now, I'm just learning like fresh stuff that I've never done before. I just made this heel flip shove, heel flip shove it, and then it's a laid under flip the other way. I made it and it feels solid, so I keep thinking that that'll be the next one I can learn to throw off something a little, you know? <laughs> I don't know, I'll just usually skate and just just feel my tricks, whatever I think. I don't really just push it, I don't know. Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. Cause I'm never gonna do anything like what you're doing, so. No, that's not true. It's, I think that, like the more you do it, the more you comfortable you get. Yeah. And then the more like you can't sleep at night, you know? <laughs> Cause you get more options. I don't know, I'll mess around with this a little bit. Yeah, let's see it, man. <laughs> Obviously, it's early days for this trick. That's a bit fun, isn't it? I remember when I made it, you gotta, you gotta throw it out and then you gotta put this foot way over there like you're stepping upstairs. Oh, yeah. And then when you just step forward and that's it. Oh, yeah. You ever do something super hard for you and you, you're like, what did I just do? Yeah. And the only thing I ever really remember is the sound of rolling away. It's weird. <laughs> So how did Rodney measure up? Real good experience, never gonna forget that. Such a nice bloke as well, real sound down to earth geese and he's just got his, some of the tricks he can do are amazing. After the experience of meeting Rodney, nothing seems to phase Dan. He drops into a Melbourne skate park where he finds himself rubbing shoulders with pro skaters Chad Fernandes, Chad Barty and Ryan Sheckler. 
fresh in town for the Globe World Cup. Dan and Chad Fernandez head off straight away. Chad's from LA and he's as rock and roll as they come. Chad Fernandez, he's gnarly. You know, he wants to like make his mark and he, he does gnarly stuff, like he's rad. Coming up. Bucko. I'm Latin, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dan and Mark's hotel is jam packed with pro skaters here for the Globe World Cup. Yes. They bring Dan in on a session at an exclusive indoor bowl. Yes. Dan's never skated a bowl before, but eventually he drops in. It's just a design that I had for a long time, and um, obviously it works. Everyone likes it, and everyone digs skating it. So yeah, it's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> it's always good when you got different skaters here. You can get different lines happening and see different ways of using it. Once he's warmed up, he shows the pros what he's made of. Nice. Let's see about that all. Yeah, man. So you got some ramp skills. Yeah. That's guy about it. It's rad. Apparently tomorrow is going to be like a pretty mad day. Going to have to like get out really early, which I'm not too chuffed about. Like half seven, I think we've got to be out of the hotel, boy. Me and Chad Fernandez are going to go and do something, but it's all going to get like pretty hush hush, so we don't actually know what's going on. Are you ready? Dan's feeling a little apprehensive. It's 7.30am and neither he nor Chad know what the morning has in store for him. All they do know is it involves getting wet. Happy roll. You got your trunks on? Got them. You mentioned scuba gear, man. What's that all about? But we could be going to the ocean, though. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, it's like I feel like I'm on punk or something. <laughs> like it's turning into an episode of punk. Professional skateboarder or amateur skateboarder makes no difference to a shark. They look for this and you'll see, if I look over, yeah. you'll see some of them cruising around. A test of nerve, and surprisingly, Chad is the one asking all the questions. Have you done it before? I've done it a couple of times. Has anyone ever got bit? You ever touched them? You don't touch them. Swim with the sharks? I don't know, that's what these guys do. They're <laughs> professional skateboarders. You know, there's all kinds of sharks out there, so. They probably do all right. <laughs> no one's died yet, so fingers. Just remember, mate, it's cool to be nervous. Yeah, yeah. It's not I cool just... to cry. No. Oh. <laughs> Fuck it up. That was sick though being in there. I survived the shark dive. Yeah, <laughs> I'll say one. Next up, Shark Cage Hawaii. <laughs> Everybody here because. So having survived the shark dive, Dan can chill out and enjoy the rest of the day.
In the afternoon, he catches up with Rodney at a signing session. Oh, and come down and sign some signatures for little kiddies. And comes face to face with the best skateboarders in the world. I think I'd be nervous because I mean, there's going to be a lot of people there that he's looked up to and watched skate while he's grown up. It's anyone meeting their idol, isn't it? You know, you kind of in awe about it. I mean, if Tom Penny was there, I think he'd be pretty stoked about that because that's, I think, one of his favourite skaters as well. The lineup, all these pros, man. Some of the flip team showed up, man. It was crazy. Everyone, all the pros, they were just like, yeah, just sitting there casually on the stage, just signing the stuff off for all the people, man. Hopefully tomorrow is going to be a bit more casual. Going to go to the Rod Lover Arena, like see the course and like all the pros and that. So they're going to be there. They've got to sign up to enter and that. So probably chill out with them for a bit and then see how it goes in the evening. See what happens. Should be should be a bit more casual, a bit more relaxed than today was. Hello, hey, man. How's it going? Mate? I'm good. But what he doesn't know so is that Rodney yeah, has a surprise in store for him. Stuff. I'm so oh, I'm <laughs> tired from yesterday, man. It's crazy. Hey, did you see? Did you see all the guys? Have you seen the lineups? Uh, what for tomorrow? Yeah. No, I haven't had a look at it, man. Uh, where do you see all the names back to back? Like, <laughs> it's just intense. <laughs> look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not entering. <laughs> <laughs> that was scary shit, man. <laughs> Super scary. Yeah, I, will, yeah. I, I tell you the truth, I'm glad I'm not you. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny stuff, man. Huh? Yeah. Rodney's pulled a few strings <laughs> and arranged for Dan to enter well, the Globe World Cup. Have they? Yeah. Fuck, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's a terrifying thought, huh? Shit, that's fucking mad. How do you feel? I feel like I've only had four hours sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Fuckers have got me entering, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Can't>. No way. Look at you, you bastards. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah, they've fucking got to go and sign up now. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, Weller. Oh, Look, they're all staying in our hotels to sabotage your skateboards tonight. <laughs> just remember, everyone feels the same way. They're just your friends. You're skating with your friends. Try to block out the people the best you can. Yeah. Just focus on the guy next to you because he feels just as uneasy. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And that sort of brings you together a bit. Yeah, that's cool. That's yeah. cool. Good advice. <laughs> Words of wisdom, man. Good luck. Sweet, man. Dan's nerves really begin to show. The prospect of competing on a pro course against the best skaters in the world in front of 16,000 people suddenly seems too much to take. Is he finally out of his depth? What's up? That's John? Yeah! Mr. <laughs> pro right here. Fuck, man. Like, like welcome, welcome. <laughs> welcome, man. Welcome to the ranks. <laughs> hey, man, you're gonna do good. Watch, I'll, I'll, I'll set you up. I'll show you everything. I'll tell you what to um, what to expect. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. Do a boneless. You know what I mean? I would do a boneless, no complies, and then do that 360 barrel, <laughs> and then uh, throw up in the middle of the course. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Dan. Dan. You're the UK worker? Dan is a long way from Earthling Borough and now finds himself deep in shark infested waters. He's only entered two local skate contests in his life. Today will be his biggest challenge yet. So what up, Big Claire? You're in the contest now? Pretty crazy. Huh? I come out. Little Again. fucking Jerry. Yeah. How many How many people? 16,000. <laughs> That's your big time debut, man. Yeah, crazy. Get That's out cool. there and run it. Hottest pro on the circuit right here. He's gonna take it. I'm taking 10%, whatever you're earning, whatever you win. I think he'd be more nervous to swim with sharks than to enter a contest, you know what I mean? You've got to stand out from the crowd, and that's what he does. Best, I guess. I love seeing Dan because he's just about the trick, he's just focused, and that's cool. You know, if he keeps his cool, carries on the way he is, he could go as far as it needs to go. You know, he could make it. He's pretty committed. Stomps on stuff. I like seeing that. Yeah. 
They just got a real tenacity. Gnarly man, shit everywhere, big shit, all over the place, big rails, big gats, big steps, big hips, everything was pro standard man. Next in is Daniel Turner. Melbourne, are you with me on this one? Made it home and dry, and just to prove it, a kid from the audience asked for Dan's autograph. Rock and roll. Looking back on it, I'm, I'm glad I did it, man. I'm glad I got the opportunity to do it because it's fucking sing. If I hadn't have had the opportunity like what I did, there's no way anything like this would have ever happened, man. Not to me. I felt sick when he came out. I was really nervous for him, man. But he did good, real good. That takes balls, man. I mean, you know, he didn't even know he was gonna have to do that, and he has to skate a pro contest. Well, I'm proud of myself, man. I actually managed to fucking get in there and have a, have a bash. Dan's last night in Oz, and it's time for a well-earned drink at the after-show party. Munchies! To be honest, now, for every competition I ever enter, it's going to be nothing. I'm just going to be like, yeah, I don't care, man. Because once you're skating something like 16,000 people with, like, the best pe best skateboarders in the world, everything else is going to seem like a piece of cake, man. I'm just going to be like, yeah, I'll just cruise out there and just skate. Come on, man. Yeah. Attack. After the end of it, Chad said, for your first pro contest, man, you did really well. You was like, you was, you was like, produce the goods that when you need to under the pressure. And I was like, yeah, that's cool, man. People you've like looked up to, respect, and like just love to meet, and I've fucking met them. That's fucking yeah. Oh, come on. I mean, the whole week, to be honest, it was skating with pros, but Rodney just he just took it to the next level. He's loving what he's doing. He's all bright-eyed. You know, it's not about how much do you make, <laughs> because when you hear that, you know they're doomed, right? And I think I think he's got what it takes. I think he's got what it takes. Rodney Millen was like the chillest, soundest, most down-to-earth Blake I've ever met. And then he's just skate with him and it's like, what? What are you doing, man? You're, you're off the latch, man. You're crazy. You see the lifestyles I lead and it's so much fun, just like cruising around the world, just skating about, meeting your friends, just having fun. And it's like, such a good lifestyle, really. So I don't know where it might take me. Absolutely getting out of my face, I think and then sleeping for a vast number of hours and not opening my door to anyone. <laughs> not even you. <laughs>